Well, um, we have this story, and uh, we wow, we bought into it, then we didn't buy into it, but now we're getting like audio from a news channel actually reporting this is true. But I'm not buying it. Still, I don't know why. It's just too horrific. First of all, and um, like where it came from is a little odd, but but it supposedly came from this news station. <laughs> KWKBW? Uh, that's uh, Buffalo. Yeah? yeah? It's a real news station? Oh, you yeah, know that? Absolutely, yeah. Mm. It might be like college news or something, though. And, um, and we have audio of the story as it was presented on the news. Yes. Correct, sir. Well, then, okay. Can we, can we, can we hear want... it? Oh, I would. All right. Oh. I'd rather just play it. You'd rather play it? And, and let's play it, and right. then... And then we'll talk. We'll about see it. if it's real. All yeah. Right. All right. Here's the story. Yet. His name is Bear, a young pit bull being held at the Niagara County SPCA after a shocking incident Sunday. Initial investigation showed that uh, the family pet, a male uh, pit bull, had sodomized a two-year-old boy. Police say the mother was changing the baby's diaper and briefly left the room. I heard some screams and returned quickly. Found the dog uh, in the act of doing what it was doing. And uh, she screamed. Uh, apparently that must have uh, caused the dog to become afraid. The dog ran out of the house, and police say that's when neighbors got involved, that they were the ones who actually helped get the dog off of the boy. See, um, apparently the dog was connected still to the, when he ran to out the two -year -old? To, the, to the child, as sometimes dogs do get connected during uh, that act. And... Um, uh, they had to like split them up. You know how you squirt dogs with water when they're hooked up. Uh, uh, what did they squirt the dog with this time? Similac. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm not gonna make it. fun of it. A dog fuck somebody, please. <laughs> please what you, look, I think the important thing to remember here is that this won't haunt this kid for the rest of his life. No. Nobody will ever bring this up in school. No. Well, this won't be the uh, the argument ender no matter what happens to him in life. <laughs> you got fucked in the ass by a dog. All right. And what time do you want to leave? You win. End of argument. <laughs> well, we read the story. We're like, there's no way this is true. But the news channel is uh, reporting, reporting it, it as, as news yeah. and as true. So I guess... There's more to the story. Let's oh, see. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. July 1st, I started my 27th year here, and I have never... Uh, had an occasion such as this. SPCA Executive Director Albert Chile has already received a number of phone calls about this case. I probably had 15, 20 calls this morning. You know, kill those pit bulls. Several people said to investigate the family, not the dog. A DNA sample has been taken mm. from the dog for analysis to verify oh what happened. God. Detective Captain Larry Eggert says they've also turned to an out-of-town animal behaviorist. And that's kind of what we're looking for from them. Wait a minute, can you please stop this is an animal behaviorist? Me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they going to ask an animal behaviorist? Animal behaviorist. What, yep. what would you say to an animal behaviorist? Why did the dog do this? Because, what, did he have social aggression? It, 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 it's a dog. He saw it a, fucks things. Yeah. He, That's all it does is eat and fuck. Yeah. He saw a hiney, he probably, you know, who knows? Oh, I mean, that's what it was. I mean, that's what he did. Heine. He saw a hiney and he just did it. I mean, Dogs hump your legs and stuff like that. You know, they do that. Whether you want them to or not. And then uh, she's changing the bait. Why would you leave? First of all, I think anybody that has this was a pit bull. Yeah. Anyone that has a pit bull and children are crazy. And I don't care. They're the most gentle animals you'll you ever see. Pit bulls. Shut up. Anybody is an irresponsible parent. Because if they're not fucking them, they're ripping their little faces off. Happens all the time. You just, you can't, if you, you can't be selfish and have both. You have to, your stupid kids or your stupid dog. Well, they've actually, uh, they have done some further investigating. Oh, did uh, they? They checked the dog's computer. And they oh, found, no. They found a lot of very questionable images. They feel that this attack was pre-planned. Oh, that is terrible. And I had higher hopes for that one. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen. Why don't you sit down and have a doggy bone? Enjoying the kibble this afternoon? You might recognize me. I'm Chris Hansen. Now, it seems you had sex with this child. 
Jason? We've checked under your doggy bed <laughs> and found these uh, magazines <laughs> and some of these transcripts of conversation. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. You go by the name Woof, Woof, One, Two, Six. <laughs> The conversation went woof, 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 woof. You're 13? Woof, 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 woof. Arr. Arr. Yes, you're free to go. The dog catchers are waiting outside with the nets. Well, here's the rest of the story. And that's kind of what we're looking for from them is some guidance. Tell us why the dog did what it did. Police say the family has relinquished custody of Bear. Chili says the family apparently wants him euthanized, although he has not received an official request. Unless there's some sort of an action taken by a third party, uh, the owner of the dog has the right to decide whether the dog is euthanized or not. The family told investigators that they had never had any problems with the dog before. No problems with the dogs before. That's what they all say. It doesn't matter that you're of age in dog years. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're losing with this one. <laughs> doesn't matter. They're tired. Yeah, fuck them. I'm not going to gauge my performance on those fuckers in that room. That's right. They probably all think it's hot. They're jerking off. Oh. Yeah, look at the, oh, no, well, move. After that story, it's more like, meowch. All right, let's say hi to Mongo the trucker. Mongo. Morning, boys. I got a punchline for you. All right. First of all, why did the old woman cross the road? Why? Because she saw a couple of <laughs> walking towards her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It always, it always goes. It to always there. makes that turn. It doesn't <laughs> matter what we're talking about. Uh, so well, that's awful. So you're buying into that. Well, I guess we have to. I mean, it's a... Uh, well, if it was on the news, it's, it's got to be true. It's got to be true, I have yeah. no idea. An old lady walks into a bar with a horse, and the bartender looks at the horse and says, Why the long face? And the horse says, Ask her. She's got dementia. Jesus, <laughs> 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 